Hi, I'm Chris Gardner with your tip of the day from Practical Help for Your Digital Life. You can find all my tips on my website, and I post lots of them on Facebook, iTunes, and YouTube. I hope you'll join my member-supported website where you can also get tip sheets with helpful links and detailed how-tos. Please join today. Today's tip is about donating or recycling an old computer, which makes the most sense, and which you should do first. Now the truth is that you may find few takers for donating an old computer. Schools, churches, and charitable institutions have all figured out that old computers are more work than they're worth, so don't hold your hopes up unless the computer is working well and less than two years old. So recycling your old computer is likely your best option. Your county or city may offer electronics recycling, either no cost or for a small fee. But before you turn over your old computer to somebody else, you need to make sure you've permanently removed all of your personal information. Once someone else has your old computer, you have no control or way to stop someone from doing anything with it they choose. And many old computers go to third world countries or processing centers where hackers can milk the hard drive for your personal information to use for their benefit. So here are seven methods to make sure your old computer is safe to get rid of. You don't need to take notes, I've got a tip sheet for you on my website. First, use the computer system restore disks to restore the system back to its factory specifications. This wipes the hard drive pretty completely. Now sometimes, instead of disks, the manufacturer may have just set up a system restore partition that's hidden on your hard drive, and you can activate it either with a special boot up process or from a menu item on the start menu. Then you can donate or recycle the whole computer without worry. Second, you can use a hard drive eraser program. Here are two that work well. The computer isn't fully usable once this is done, but at least your stuff is safe and you can donate or recycle the whole computer without worry. Third, you can use a professional hard drive recycling service like one of these. This may be less expensive than you think, especially if you have a lot of computers or hard drives to recycle. You'll need to remove the hard drive and send it to them, but you can donate or recycle the rest of the computer without worry. Fourth, just remove the hard drive and smash it with a hammer. You may need a sledgehammer and some space to really swing it, because you have to break it open and make sure the internal parts are all broken up as well. You can then donate or recycle the rest of the computer. Fifth, bring your old computer to a computer or office supply store like Staples or Office Depot. They may be able to wipe the drive for you while you wait and let you verify this before you either leave it with them to recycle or take it to a recycling center. Sixth, if you happen to have a very strong magnet, you can scramble the hard drive with it. I mean the type of magnet you'd use to lift stuff up from the bottom of a lake, something capable of lifting a 10-pound weight. Remove the hard drive from the computer and scramble it by running the magnet over every external surface of the hard drive. Do this several times and leave it in place for a few minutes. Then you can replace the hard drive in the computer. Now if the computer starts up in Windows, you'll know the magnet wasn't strong enough, otherwise it's okay to donate or recycle. Lastly, and this is simplest, just remove the hard drive and stick it in a box. Hang on to it until you can figure out what you want to do with it. You can donate or recycle the rest of the old computer immediately. Now the first method is not 100% foolproof, but good enough for most people. It would take an amazing amount of work to reconstruct your personal data, and not worth it unless your computer held national secrets. The second method is best for you super secret types, while the third method is very reliable as long as you choose a reputable company. And the last method is the fastest and simplest. So pick one of these methods and get rid of that old computer. As always, my members can grab my printable tip sheet and get more detail and links to resources I've mentioned here. And if you find my tips useful, please share them with your friends. Clicking the like button is great also. And don't forget to become a member of Practical Help for Your Digital Life. Thanks for watching.